It's May 16, 2021. As you can see, I rearranged the garden. Let's start with the raspberry. Here you can see the flowers have opened. The other canes don't look too good. Like this one, you can see the buds have dried up completely. And the asparagus is getting very tall. You can see almost as tall as the mulberry tree. Um, all the sprouts have opened and they're all flowering. Right here, these ones are the purple variety ones. And surprisingly, it's still sending out new sprouts. And in this same pot, there's the potato. You can see the sprout has gotten a lot bigger. And the mulberry tree is looking a lot fuller. The leaves are getting bigger and greener. Doesn't look like there's going to be a lot of flower this year. And this is the only flower that I have found that has turned into uh, fruits already. And the chalice that I ordered finally arrived. You can see I put the grape up with the chalice. Hopefully this little um, tentacle thingy will hold on to the structure and start climbing onto the trellis. The rhubarb is actually sending out some new leaves. You can see right here some new leaves forming. And also here's more new leaves. The flowers have turned into seed pods as you can see. The blueberry is stem flowering. Uh, you can see all the flowers have faded. Hopefully these will turn into blueberries, but I'm not sure. I moved the green onion over here. Um, I think these ones, the flowers are done as well. And also moved the rosemary over here. The lavender is finally flowering. You can see these uh, flower buds forming on each of the tip of the stems. Here's a bunch more flower buds forming. The rosemary isn't really actively growing or flowering anymore. Here's the daffodil and hyacinth. Both are slowly dying back. Here's the grape hyacinth with all the seed pods forming. Here's the uh, striped squirrel also dying back. And the seed pods are turning yellow, so they're ready to be harvested. Summer snowflake still looks green and the seed pods are definitely not going to form. You can see right here, it's completely dried up. Crocus is also dying back. Here's the glory of the snow. And here's the other uh, grape hyacinth. The seed pods are forming nicely. Hopefully we'll get some seeds this year. Here's the peony. Um, not seeing any new growth. Here's the dahlia. You can see the sprouts are getting a lot bigger. And here's some nasty aphid infestation. The pineapple that I moved outdoor last week um, looks like it's sunburned pretty badly. You can see here the leaves are pretty bleached. Um, at the center, the leaves are looking a bit yellow. And here you can definitely see the bleaching of the leaves with the yellow um, patches forming. These are definitely sunburned. And here's the cat lily. Looks like it's recovering pretty well. This leaf is looking really healthy. And yeah, a lot more sprouts and leaves forming. As for the backyard, we have the service berry. The berries are still slowly maturing. This one is turning more yellow. This one as well, and it kind of looks like a pear actually. And here's a few more uh, of the berries. I think it's still getting bigger. 
and you can see a, a, a lot more over here that's also turning yellow and here is a few that has turned bright orange and of course the hydrangea the flowers are getting bigger um, hopefully they'll open soon I'm really excited for all the colors in this backyard and right here is the shooting star variety of hydrangea there are actually a lot of uh, cluster of flowers forming I'm a little surprised actually I thought there's on actually only going to be a few but you can see um, there's at least five that's gonna form and here is the lily of the valley the pink variety ones are flowering very nicely I love this little delicate pink flowers and here's a few more flower stalks that have formed here's another cluster of uh, sprouts you can see this flower spike is dead the flowers dried up and did not open and here's another cluster of the sprouts these flowers have already faded The winter jewel flowers are still around, turning a bit green, and here you can see some bite marks. It certainly looks like black vine weevils, so they're also in the backyard. Here's the fiddle leaf fig. Um, the new leaves are getting a lot bigger. This um, newest leaf is also getting a lot bigger. You can see the size. It's already bigger than my palm. Over here is the propagation station, spider plants looking great, wandering Jew is rooting nicely, and some new leaves are forming as well. I can probably transplant this soon. The arrowhead plant is doing a bit better, um, there are some new leaves, and also some new buds forming from the stems. And also, if you look closely, there's a lot more root growth from the stems. The spider plant is still flowering, and also some seed pods are still forming. The morphology looks a lot like grape hyacinth seed pods, don't you think? Here's the Easter cactus with all the new leaves forming. And of course the Philonopsis with all the root growth. The new leaf is also getting bigger slowly. Most of the time cuttings are not forming roots, even though it's been two weeks or more and the roots are only forming from this two cuttings the leaf grows from this two different um, groups looks sort of the same can't really distinguish them and here's the philodendron with all the beautiful new vines and they're all getting longer as well like this one over here I also really like the coloration and the patterns on the new leaves. There's also aerial roots forming on the new vines. And then the updates on the orchids. Um, you can see the mini oncidium is sending out a flower spike. So hopefully we'll see more from this one and the other one. Here's the Hoya plant. Um, there's a lot of um, new growth. You can see this vine is getting super long. And here's another new growth with the super long vine. As for the succulent, uh, the straight plant is recovering really well in vermiculite. Here's the finger succulent. The leaves are looking succulent. Here's another jade plant. Some of them are still not recovering as well. 
The zebra succulents are still turning red. The elephant bush is growing nicely with a lot of new sprouts, like this one over here, and this one is getting super long. Here's the frizzle sizzle. The leaves are getting super curly. Love it, and it's so cute. Just gonna give you a few close up of the leaves. And lastly, we have the pitcher plants. Here's another new leaf, and this is the new leaf that just opened. Here's the slightly older leaves, and the pitcher is still looking great. Um, not drying or anything. I'm still keeping an eye on this little pitcher. Hopefully it will form.